When we started market gardening many years ago, you know, we were interest, we were excited about growing, about growing food, about the lifestyle, and about being a part of the, the you know, the local organic movement. But like many people in their 20s, we didn't have a lot of money f to buy equipment, to have a, to acquire land. So we basically started to market gardening by default. But over time, we decided to follow on with this route and decided, you know, to grow with the idea of growing better instead of growing bigger. And as we developed our market, uh, our skill set, we learned how to crop plan, we learned how to weed the farm without, a, without, um, without heavy machinery, we, le we learned how to apply you know, minimal tillage techniques. We've learned all sorts of different growing practices that are basically cost uh, neutral. You know? The only thing that you need is to invest your time and energy in learning these skills and techniques. And so we focused on that. And that has allowed us to, you know, find the appropriate technology and, and, and develop the appropriate scale for what we're doing on our market garden now. And it's been more than 10 years. And, uh, you know, the farm has been profitable ever since we started. And it's been growing from the inside for all these years. And now I'm really happy and pleased to be able to share know-how and hard knowledge about how to grow intensively and profitably on a small scale level. So give and take, there's a lot of learning curve into all of this, but I think that with the proper systematic understanding of how you can run a small but profitable market gardening, market garden, uh, this can help really people kickstart their own project and hopefully more of us will be there to feed, uh, to feed the many and uh, make an impact on the world.